In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the coolant temperature sensor on this Audi A4. This vehicle has the 2.0 liter turbocharged engine, and you're going to find this located on the back side of the engine. Let's get into it. Remove the cap, the coolant. Make sure the engine's cold when you're doing this. Just set that aside. Now, underneath, near the radiator, we're going to drain the coolant. There's a little wing nut right here. You have to loosen that up. You could use a little pair of pliers if you need to. Just be careful not to break it. Just put a drain bucket underneath. It should come right out there. There we go. Put that drain out. And now we're going to close up that drain. Just twist that. And just close that up. That's good. I'm going to reach down. You can see the sensors located right here. I'm just going to disconnect the sensor. Just pull on the tab. You can slide it off. There's a little tab right there. It slides off. You want to make sure you drain the coolant before you do this. Make sure the engine is cool. There's a clip right here. Just want to grab that clip. I'm going to slide that out. Just like that. You can grab the sensor. It pulls out. There's the sensor. There should be an O-ring in there. Reach in, grab that O-ring. Pull that O-ring out. You want to replace the O-ring, take the sensor, put the new O-ring on. And you can put some O-ring lubrication on it, or if you want, you can use a little coolant. Reach down. And slide this in. Take the clip. Get that lined up. You might have to push the sensor in while you're pushing the clip in. There we go, clips in. Grab the sensor, give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't come out. Take the connector. There's a flat spot in the connector, flat spot on the sensor. You can line those up and connect the connector. Make sure it locks in place, that's good. And you want to top off the coolant Use the appropriate coolant for the vehicle, a 50-50 mix. You can use a funnel, pour it in. You want to fill it up, fill it up to the max line. Put the cap on, then start the vehicle and run the vehicle, constantly monitoring the level and also monitoring the engine temperature and make sure the engine temperature does not go overheating. After about 15 to 20 minutes, you want to shut the vehicle off let the vehicle cool down, and then adjust the level accordingly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.